If you're like me, then you probably work seven days a week, but there's still something as we head towards the weekend. Uh, what do you get up to to relax when you're not doing your business? Um, I still read news on the local radio station because I used to be a news editor for fun, but what, what do you do? What do you do to relax? We're going to try and make Fridays a bit lighter in future. We're going to try and have some features. In fact, I'm going to be heading down to uh, an airfield soon and uh, talking to them about uh, the business of the air taxi industry. I've been invited to come along and see one of their planes and talk to them about how that can be used for business and how they operate themselves. Just a reminder that we're at Kingston Business Biscotti at Las Iguanas, Latin food restaurant in Kingston-upon-Thames in Surrey today. This is one of the many events going on around the country. Let's have a quick look at some of the other events that uh, you've been telling us about that are coming up. Um, after last time talking about events are all in the Midlands, they all seem to be in London this time. So uh, the Business Growth Show, that's one. Always love these events. Mark Linton has his own unique way of doing speed networking, if you haven't met him before. Uh, the next one of those is in London on the 14th at 9am until 3 at West Ham Stadium in Upton Park. Uh, another business biscotti on the 17th of October at Heathrow. So if you're passing on the motorway that day, stop in and make uh, that visit to the Park Inn Hotel at Heathrow on Bath Road. And finally, there's a number of business incubators which are starting to form as well. More about those soon. Hopefully, we're going to be talking to one of those. But I saw one recruiting, uh, and they're called Velocity Business Hub in Luton. They have a free event all about getting finance to start a business on the 8th of October between 8.45 and midday at the Chilton Hotel in Luton. So this is Wake Up to Business, your Get the Business Day Started program. I'm Richard Midson from shoutpow.com and with me are my guests Neville Capodia and John Ballard from Limetime Apps and Neville from Think Slim and Trim. Now we were talking about, um, talking yesterday about super mentoring. John and I have been advising our guests. Neville, it's your turn this time to give us some advice based on either your business experience or your product experience. So uh, over to you. Thank you. Well, obviously, um, I know that John deals with the business in apps, manufacturing apps and getting apps out, and you're involved in social media side and production all here. So mine's totally different in the health business. The, the advice on health is kind of general anyway. So what I thought was maybe something that's absolutely helped me, regardless of what the business is, and that's the what I call the personal development side. Um, Everything you guys do that I do is in the business of skill base. So you're learning your skills in understanding apps, learning your skills in understanding how to do social media. However, what happens when you get a challenge? Yeah? What happens when you find yourself being distracted too, too much? There's nothing in the manual that you can read and just go away and then you've solved it. Yeah. It's all a change of attitude. And the most powerful things that I've found was discovering what books, what audio, what authors really connect with you and going through their material in a relaxed fashion affects the mind in such a positive way that you can then deal with all the challenges that not only business but life brings with it. Mm and go through them in a much more positive way and come out way so, better. So can you give us some examples? I mean, you know, look at myself, what have been the challenges? Um, one of the ones was, I, I've done this stuff before for myself, I did social media, I set up a, a you know, quite a successful online show um, before, but you still feel at times, is this going to work? Yeah. So what do you do at that point? Okay, so that, that, is, that is the belief and confidence side of you. And traditionally, that's based on experience. So we're looking in the past to help us understand, can we do something in the future? If your past hasn't been completely positive and solid, then you're going to be concerned about what you want to do. Vice versa, if your past has been absolutely positive and solid, you're probably not going to concern yourself and you'll be doing it anyway. Okay? So it's a bit of a conundrum. Mm. Linking in with the personal development that helps you change your understanding of don't worry about the past maybe take the leap of faith type of quoting mm. uh, but with a uh, understanding of why you're doing it mm. so your challenge was well it's really it's really uh, uh, you know when I said on my original online show it was got a million views which was fantastic but it didn't actually make enough money to make it worthwhile it wasn't a commercial success now I learned a huge amount from that but it means that when you go into social media from there, you start getting clients who want different things, but you still think to yourself, 
is this is this going to work because I had a mixed experience in the past okay so what if I said to you everything works everything works it's been tried before it works yeah okay Every, everything works so if you just took that attitude at face value everything works and then went at it with a hundred percent belief and commitment I promise you it will work you might not get a straight line going like that and it'll be up and down up and down but the things that I have fully linked into is 100% belief 100% commitment and then if you have the support around you for the knowledge mm. then you can just take on knowledge and go with it mm. yeah? and yours John in, in apps is there any challenge oh god yes <laughs> Look at that huge, face. It's like, huge where do challenges. I start? Huge How challenges. long have we got yeah, on this video? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ma oh, massive challenge. The, certainly from what I'm doing at the moment, um, you know, looking at games, um, the, the biggest challenge actually is, is getting people out there to know that, that there's a game on the App Store and, you know, and that it's really great and they've got to download it because the revenue depends on people multi you know, downloading multiple copies. So, so tens of thousands of people downloading it hey happy days but if I only get a few hundred people then you know it's uh, it's, it's not worth doing it almost um, so so the, the challenge actually is is the marketing aspect and getting it right okay so that that's that kind of rang a bell listening to what you were saying there the words some of the things are down to way you say that then produce the results so if you say you have a challenge mm -hmm. you will continue having a challenge if you say, how shall we solve this challenge and just focus in on the solving part as opposed to I've got a challenge, you'll find that your answers will appear. And again, it's the way of thinking. That's something I've discovered through personal development is that, yes, we do have the challenges, but not to view them in that way, to view them as an opportunity mm. to go further. As you say, if you focus on the solution rather than the problem, problem. then how, yeah. do, how do I solve this? How do I solve mm, this? Yeah. It's, it's, it's exactly the same really vein as uh, you buy a red, red Volkswagen, yeah. and suddenly you see red Volkswagens everywhere. Of yes. course. Yeah, because you're now focused in that. Yeah. In the same way, if you're focused into I've got a challenge, you'll just see challenges everywhere. So if to you sum, up your, sum up your advice to John and me then? Okay. Find, go through the fun of reading and listening to all these different authors, ask people in the one area you want to improve on. So if it is looking solution focused mm. on there, then look, ask people around them, how have you managed to solve that for yourselves? Mm. Who have you listened to or read? And go and read it. And that's, it's a lifelong learning. That's it's, it's interesting, isn't it? Because business books, as you rightly say, they've got all mm. the stuff about cash flow charts and all the stuff about strengths and weaknesses, but nothing about dealing with some of those yeah. things. <laughs> I mean, it's, in, it's interesting actually because obviously the question there is have you got is it you know have you got a challenge the yeah. answer is yes I've got a challenge and, and there's yeah. also been challenges but you didn't then ask the next question is what are you doing about it because actually yeah. I'm already doing all of those things and have done them and they're in place now and hopefully they're all going to work yeah. because you've got to, you've got to have faith yeah yeah, yeah. 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 So, but, but that's happening you see yeah, yeah it's finding the solutions isn't yeah. it yeah so I can't thank, thank my guests enough it's been an absolutely fantastic mm -hmm. show um, so that's it for this week uh, people often ask how we decide which events and which businesses to visit. The answer is people invite us. So if you have an interesting event and guests and whether it's a networking meeting, expo show, an award ceremony, or even if you just have a vibrant office or a venue and you want to gather together some other business people to come to your location, then get in touch with us because we'd love to come and film. We're also looking for business lifestyle features too. Business is all about the rewards. So if you're a company who provide things that business people might want to enjoy and you can show that off to us then simply send us an email and let us know because business should be fun after all shouldn't it if you didn't see the last technical test show then there was uh, some great discussions in there about what to do with clients who won't pay in fact it was packed with ideas and uh, discussion as well at Hounslow Chamber of Commerce so if you're watching YouTube then you can click on the link which should have appeared on the screen somewhere around me right now You've been watching Wake Up To Business TV, sponsored by shoutpower.com from Kingston Business Biscotti in Kingston upon Thames in Surrey. I'd like to thank all my guests, as I say, John Ballard from Line Time Apps. Thank you very much for joining us. And also Neville Capadia from Think Slim and Trim. Some great advice in there for all of us 
today. I always like to end with a quote. So this is this week's quote, and it's a question really that really gets you thinking from um, Danny Mayer, the CEO of Union Square Hospitality Group. It's a bit like what Neville's just talking about, the questions that really get us to work and be successful in business. Ask yourself this question. How can we become the company that would put us out of business? That's something to think about. So may I wish you a highly successful and profitable business day. Over the past few minutes, you've been part of Wake Up To Business TV. Now, carry on the conversation on Twitter at hashtag wake up, the number two, biz, or go to shoutpow.com for links. If you'd like us to come to your event, it's free. Simply send us an email at info at wakeuptobusiness.com and we'll send you details about how you can use the show to promote your event. We hope to see you very soon.